Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Today we're back in Arbwick Junction where in the last episode we obviously put our beautiful new butterfly garden in. Uh, or, well, sort of walk flu butterfly exhibit. You can see the butterflies in here, they're all on uh, on there. Uh, they don't seem to do an awful lot of flying around. I mean, oh, hang on, yeah, there we go, there's one flying there. Lovely. Look at that, isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, so uh, so we've got the butterfly exhibit, that's all looking lovely. Not many of you actually believe that I made that. I absolutely promise you I did. Uh, can you not tell by the fact that it's falling apart? Like like that. Yeah, not a lot of you actually believe that I made that, but I did. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, there we go, we've got that, that's lovely. Uh, oh, guests are still whinging that they think ticket prices are underpriced. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll pop that up to 48 and £24 for a child. That's a ridiculous amount of money. Absolutely ridiculous. And what we'll do whilst we are here is we shall have a look at our staff and make sure that our staff are okay. So, vets, I think we need a couple more vets. Let's see if we can have three more vets. Do you reckon we can do that? Is that a ridiculous amount of vetage? I don't know. Right, if we just... Speed that up a little bit. I mean, we still seem to be making money with the additional three vets. The keepers are fine. Educators, again, three is fine. Mechanics will just train you up a little bit more. Oh, hang on. Some of the vending staff could do with... I mean, we've got a lot of vending staff, haven't we? Right. Train you all up. That's going to cost 250 quid. But, I mean, hey, if they're going to be bringing money in, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, in terms of the vets... We need to get them trained as well, don't we, to level 2. The reason I want more vets is because we've got plenty of research to be doing. Uh, the vet research is sort of running away with us. We need to research the butterflies, of course, uh, which, uh, i tell you what, you three new ones, you can research the butterflies. There we go. Get researching the butterflies. You're still doing the advanced panda. I mean, what, what does that do? I've, I still don't really know what that does. Uh, we get a bonus of some sort. I'm not sure what. So what we'll do is we'll take you off. Are you researching the pandas? We'll get you researching the butterfly. Giant panda is that? Oh, hang on. All right, there. Take the, take the research off there. I don't know who you were researching, but you're now researching butterflies. Butterflies all around. Yes. Alpine ibex. What's, what's this? We've got three of these. You've unlocked research. Oh, we've unlocked research for them. Right, I see. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Oh, if we do advanced research and fill that bar. I see. Right, okay. That's that's fine. I mean, do we actually have... That's one thing we need to look at. Do we have enough places for research to take place? What are you? You're a keeper. Uh, I think we have... Let's have a look. Do we have anything over here in the, uh, in the Arctic place? What, what's that? That's a mechanic place. Arctic workshop break room. Uh, how about if we nip down here to the uh, to the African area? If we have a look in facilities, uh, staff facilities. Right, I've got a keeper hut, quarantine, research centre, African research centre. There we go. We'll uh, we'll stick one of these on. He says there's not really a lot of space to stick one of these on. The uh, the African research centre looking right at home there. Under some oak trees. <laughs> oh dear! I tell you what, we won't use that one. We'll uh, we'll nip up here because this is obviously meant to be a little bit more European, isn't it? This uh, particular area. Uh, I must also thank the uh, the good people at Keymail that they sent me a uh, a key for this uh, for the South African, uh, not South African. Is it South African? South American. I've got Africa on the brain after doing that now. The South American pack. Uh, I had already bought it, so it, it sort of came at a bit of a bad time. But never mind, never mind. Thank you, uh, thank you to the wonderful people at Keymailer for that. Anyway, now in terms of European, we, it looks like we actually build a town. That looks towny, doesn't it? Okay, fair dues. That's that's an interesting one. I wonder in the facilities, guest facilities, do we have like a European themed? That's conservation themed, isn't it? Arctic, East Asia, European ferry. Right, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, European coach. Oh, wow. So you can. So it says entrance. Is that people getting off the coach, getting off the ferry? Food truck. I like that. Does it make a noise as well? Oh, it does. Oh, that sits there making a noise like it's an actual truck. 
I like that. European restaurant. Maybe we could have like a, a this. This could be quite good. European restaurant here. European shop. I really like this. This is fantastic. That's a bit oldie worldy, isn't it? What, what's this here? European, European toilet, European toilet. Right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. So that's... These are quite... Oh, these are European, aren't they? They, they don't seem to... Oh, right, a guest spawner. Ah, right, I see. Uh, so, right, hang on. European restaurant. European toilet. Let's go with the toilets. Because toilets are important in a zoo, aren't they? We'll, we'll pop. We'll pop like a little town here. That I can't see why that... You know, we could make a little town, couldn't we, in the middle of the zoo. It's quite close there, though. Tell you what we'll do. No, 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 no. Get rid, get rid, get rid. We'll have it sort of up here. Now, where's our nice little cobbledy mossy path? Have we got that in here? Yeah. Nope, that's a different path. Uh, it's here somewhere. That it. Yes, that's it, isn't it? Width 10 metres. There we go. We'll, we'll have the European path here. There we go. Right, okie dokie. Can we align it to a grid? We can always align it to a grid. There it is. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna take a little while to do this, isn't it? There we go. Right, grid. Just make sure that's all filled in. And what we'll do is we'll leave a, uh, a a thing in the middle there. There we go. Bring that down the side. Is that gonna work? Would that be better in the middle like that? Probably. Oh, hang on. What, what's happened to the screen? Oh, it's like someone put a bag over my head. Thought we'd been kidnapped. Right. That will do. Would that look better if we had it out like that? No, it wouldn't. You see, I've sort of messed up there. For, but I thought we could have, like, something in the middle. It would look quite good. Like, maybe a flower bed or something like that. Similar to... I didn't do it there. Similar to sort of what we did here. You know, where we had the maybe an exhibit in the middle. You just never know. Just to keep people... A bit interested. So what we'll do is we'll go with some more facilities. Go for the old European look. European toilets. Right, we'll bung them on. Should we bung them on the end here? I think that looks quite good, doesn't it? If we stick them there. What else can we have? A, a zoo entrance. We don't really need a zoo entrance, do we? Shop. So we can do that, can't we? Right, we'll have the shop there. What about a restaurant? We've not got a restaurant as of yet, have we? Right, is that a uh, is that the restaurant that we're having then? How about another restaurant? We'll have another restaurant over there. It's a bit more modern, isn't it? Uh, right, hang on, how do we... There we go, right, we'll stick you one there. I can't see where the... Uh, right, European restaurant. We've got you... You're the, the restaurant O2. Small shop. There we go. We'll, we'll have a couple of small shops. Now, these actual restaurants, I do not know how the restaurants work. We've never had a restaurant. You've got no power for starters. That is a bugger. Right, okie dokie. Uh, nature, facilities, power, utilities. That's the one. Wind turbines. We're going to need flipping loads. Those transformers do so much more. But we shall continue with our mission to be, you know, eco-friendly. Put that round the back. And then can we do the same here? Put the wind turbine out back. And then we'll have uh, a nice staff path. What about a bit of red? Oh no, it doesn't need to be that big, does it? We can, we can probably put some like nice little, put some decor around there just to you know liven it up a bit. Bit of tree maybe. Yeah, why not? So, in this restaurant, how do we do that? So we've got no 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 vendor. 
Oh, right, okay. How many, how many vendors do you need? I, I don't... Oh, what's this? So, are you employed by me, or are you just... Are you just there for decoration? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Restaurant table. Where are they? Oh, they're upstairs. Right, okay. Place tables. Right, so we can... Oh, we can place tables outside. I think so. We have a table there, maybe, and another one there. I mean, I, I, is that fine? Right, restaurant two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Link tables. Ba, 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 ba. Right, okay, there we go. We've got some tables. Confirm. Yeah, right, okay. We have a lot of tables. Right, so we've got everything there. Profit, synchronised costs. Yeah, lovely. So do, do people just come and eat now? Is that just how we do it? What have we got here then? Have we got tables here? Oh, we do. Right, okay. We've got tables outside here. Similar sort of process, isn't it? They, they come in... Or do they sit at a table? Right, okay. So what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same again. Tables... Place tables. I mean, that looks a little bit indoorsy, doesn't it? To be outdoors. So we'll. Uh, this this looks very outdoors. There we go. I've never seen any parties of this many people travelling round on this game. There we go. We'll have a few of them there. Yeah, and a couple more there. Ooh, with lots of mechanical research. Oh, we've unlocked the East Asia theme. Fantastic. Right, okay. Indonesia theme. I'm just researching the themes at this point. I think we'll go with New World. That looks interesting. Now, uh, link your tables, because we've not done that yet. Link the tables. So there should be enough places for people to eat now. I mean, that's, yeah, that's good. We're selling. We're, we're not making a lot of money. I'm intrigued to know how the restaurants work. I'm assuming you can... Oh, hang on. Are they going in? Are they going in? Right, okay. So they're... Right, they're there. Is there still no vendor? Oh, right. They're, they're actually about to disappear into there. And appear back upstairs again. Are they? Where do, where do they appear? Um, oh, they've appeared there. That's right. So they, they go in the restaurant and then pop outside. Is that is that how this works? Yeah, they're doing the same. Ah, right, okay. Right, I see. Oh, and the restaurant is busy. Look at that. I thought they'd, like, get a table and someone would come out and serve them. But, uh, but hey-ho. What this is meaning is that our guests are going to be fed and watered. A couple of nice little tables out there. It's not as, like, doesn't look particularly good. Maybe I'll have to move that at some point. Let's have a look. Na not in nature. Facilities. There we go. Uh, right. Benches and paths and things. It'd be nice if we had a little... Oh, a picnic canopy. It's not really in keeping with the area, is it? An East Asia picnic canopy. Got any others? Again, not really going to help keep people dry, is it? Uh, how about something... Just, just an ordinary brolly would do. It doesn't need to be a... I mean, that's a round one. That That's a good start. Is that the only round? I mean, we've got a... Got one of them. That's perhaps a little bit big. You know, just just a tad. Look, now they're all furious because the tables are outside. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're... Oh, hang on. What's this now? Oh, there's a lot to transport. Right, that's good. Right, why are people kicking off? What are you kicking off about? The layout of the scorpions. Well, we haven't researched it yet. More scorpions. Well, hang on. That's the... What's this? This is the forest scorpion... That's the other scorpion. What are we good? Why is the animal welfare attracted protesters? It's fine. It's happy. Look, it's brilliant. It's very happy in there. 
Very happy indeed. How many scorpions do we have? We've got three. Look, they must be happy if there's three of them. Hmm. This restaurant business is a problem. They've all left. We could do with... I wonder if, if you go inside. Does it, it doesn't rain inside. That's an interesting... I mean, we... I know it doesn't rain inside because it's raining as I'm recording this video and it's, you know, it's not raining inside. So I am aware that it doesn't rain inside as a general rule of thumb, but I didn't know if on the game if it did or not. Because what we could do, hang on, let's let's check that vet research. Oh, we'll be, we're researching all the butterflies, aren't we now? Right, let's research that scorpion because it's kicking off at us, isn't it? Species is unavailable for research. Why is it unavailable for research? Compatible species. Oh, they don't mind living with this lot. Oh, rightio. That's not a problem. So I sort of feel like this is a bit far away from, from everything we've got currently. What else have we got? More butterflies. Let's, uh, let's see, can we can we get our staff trained? Right, our vet's there. There we go. Right, train. Be better at your job. In fact, no, we won't just limit it to vets. Everyone, train. That'll do. We've got a lot of good staff at this place, haven't we? I don't really know what I'm going to do with the rest of that yet. I've, I've not sort of planned ahead enough. Maybe some nice sort of decoration. Like I say, just to make it look a little bit more... Oh God, we're researching that much. Oh no, an animal's died. What's died now? These Arctic wolves seem to die like there's no tomorrow. Well, there isn't for them. But you know what I mean. How do we get more people up here then? Maybe some sort of nice animal exhibit. Uh, animal trading. Exhibit trading. Right, okay. What about a frog? I mean, that is an American frog. Hmm. What's this? A terrapin? Often found in the UK. Fruit bat. Ooh. Don't they need to be in a walkthrough exhibit? I'm not sure. Right, what else have we got? Malaysian leaf insect. Tiger land snail. I mean, that is very, very European, isn't it? Green iguana, maybe not. Again, butterflies, monarch, butterflies, puff adders, red-eyed tree frog. I wouldn't have said that any of these would particularly... Oh, hang on, let's have a rattlesnake. There we go. Right, we'll have you. And we'll have you. There we go. We'll have two rattlesnakes. A, a rattlesnake's ideal. Now, we want to keep people interested, don't we? So, exhibit trading... No, 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 no. It needs to be in facilities. Uh, exhibits. That's the one. Right, European. We must have something that looks European. Not a circus animal. What's that? Does it honestly think this is what the entirety of Europe looks like? Right, I mean, I, I think it does. I genuinely think it does think that that's what everything in Europe looks like. What's, what's this? New World... Oh, the New World stuff looks quite good. I want one with, like, four sides. That that looks pretty good. We could combine the New World and the European, couldn't we? Look at that. There we go. Right, we'll have that there. And then we'll have another New World one in the middle there. Okay, I mean, it might look better just using one of those, but I quite like the New World. Hang on, hang on. Right, let's just move that. We'll rotate it like that, because now those two are facing each other, aren't they? Looks a bit better. Right, what else can we have? So we've got snakes in that one. What about those American bullfrog? Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, American frog. I mean, we haven't got an awful lot of uh, frogs to choose from. Right, American frog. Where's the other one? American bullfrog. Right, get the frogs in there. Lovely. 
And then where's the uh, where's the snake? Western diamond rattlesnake. Right, okie dokie. Get them in there. Oh, right, okay. Yes, of course, it's a frog. Water. Mmm, sensible. Right, no power, for a start, is not okay. Climate. It's obviously not going to work when there's no power, is it? Right, okay. Oh, I don't like this. Right, so, utilities, transformers... I mean, that can have power. It just needs to be a bit more... So that needs to be close to the... There you go, we'll stick that there. Try again. Right. Climate. Let's let's have a bit more climate. And a bit more of that. There we go. Right, you're happy. Ish. And now you guys are going to start kicking off in a moment, aren't you? Uh, right, climate. Yep, the temperature is not good. So we'll turn that up. We'll turn the humidity down. Just, just, just ever so slightly. There we go. Right. Oh, look at that. Now, it's happy now. Ish. So we need to, again, get researching you. Now, I'm not going to fall for this this time. So max number of males, one and one. We want it to be maximum appeal, highest first. Maximum appeal, highest first. There we go. Oh, hang on. You need to turn it on, don't you? Uh, do you need to turn it on? No, you don't. Right, we've done it at the top. That's fine. Same again for the frogs. Manage the population. I mean, I can't imagine they want to have too many of them in there. So we'll go back to the manage population. Appeal and appeal. We've got some uh, some more of that, more transport rides. Oh, the power ride is the power ride. The power doohickey is inaccessible. Lovely. Okay, hopefully that should bring some people to it. Now we need to uh, we need to of course get the educational board so that everyone knows what it is. That has no power. Of course it doesn't. And this one won't have any power, will it? Or uh, maybe it does. That's got no power. Yep, right, that one doesn't either. Hey dear, right, facilities. We need more power then. We all got power now. Yes, we all happy. Yes, they're not happy because now they can see this flipping thing. Now, in terms of that, could we could we maybe have some staff facilities down here so that the staff can come down here? That would be nice. Hang on, that's Planet Zoo. We've got something European, a, a tall research center. I mean, if people don't like to see it. We don't need a quarantine, do we? Research centre large. I mean, can you fit any more people in there to do the research? Oh well, we'll, we'll stick it in there anyway. Uh, right, research centre. Staff room large. Right, we obviously need a staff room, don't we? We'll pop that there. Look at that. It'll actually end up looking a little bit like a town. Staff room large, right, we've got that. Trade center. We don't need it, so we won't bother. A veterinarian. Veterinary uh, center. I don't get why the, like, the veterinary center would have a negative impact on the guests. I've never quite understood that. What's broken down now? Oh, someone go and fix the, uh, yeah, go and fix the ATM, please. You need repair, right, go and fix that before it breaks. We really do need more mechanics, don't we? But, I mean, we've hired more vets. I don't think, can we Can we have more mechanics? How many have we got? 
We've got five. Right, how about six? It's inefficient, apparently, up here. I'm not very good at this zoo building malarkey, are we? Having said that, we've we've got quite a nice looking thing. Have the uh, has anybody used the restaurant? No vendor. Right, hang on. So we need more vendors, clearly. Uh, right, staff. And you see, some of them do have right vendor. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We'll have some more spare men. Uh, mechanic research. Right, staff vendors. A lot of them can just free roam. How many have we got now? We'll have quite a few. What with thirty-five? Oh, the black rhinos are fighting. That's all we need. Animal is hungry. Why is the animal hungry? Because there's too many of them. That's why. Can't you just eat one of your relatives? Right, are we feeding again? Yeah. Call the keeper immediately. Give them more food. See, what we could do is from here, so you didn't have to go all the way around there, we could extend this path. What would it, yeah, we'll, we'll extend the path. Uh, right, this is the this is the, this path. Oh, hang on, right, so it's only eight metres wide. There we go, right. And there we go, right, that path's going up there. And then we'll have another path that comes off there, and then it can become this cobble path. Wherever the cobble path is. Where's the cobble path? Uh, there it is. Cobble. Oh no, that's cobblestone. Where's the other one? It's here somewhere. Block path. There. Lovely. That does it. Right, now you can get from the black rhinoceros up here. We could also have, like, some sort of new exhibit in there, couldn't we? Something maybe African themed here. Obviously ignoring the fact there's a wind turbine in the way. Oh, there's a diseased animal discovered, right. Q fever. Oh, it's quite old. Is that why it's got a disease? Because it's it's a little bit old? Oh, hang on. Oh, what's happened there? That's... Right, yeah, there's there's quite a lot of diseased animals that we've, we've just found. Ooh, dear, that's no good. Sign the mechanic. Vet research. Habitat cleanliness is a disease. Oh, that'll be the ostriches, won't it? Yes, ah, brilliant. So the ostriches are essentially crapping themselves to death. <sighs> if it's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Right. These ostriches have caused me nothing but grief. Right, animals. They've all got this disease. Yep. <coughs> oh, don't you start. Right. Are we going into the animal research then and researching Q fever? Uh, where's the, the vet research? There we go. Right, there's... Where is it? It'll be at the top because it's an active disease, isn't it? Right. Vanessa. Uh, tell you what, Rita Strong, you can research it because you're not very good at what you do. There we go. Active disease. Research Q fever, please, Rita. What's everyone else doing then while we're, uh, while we're here? Sherry Dobson, how do you fancy doing a bit of uh, a bit of Alpine Ibex research? That'll do. Oh, we've done lots of vet research, right? Where's the? Where is it? European peacock butterflies. Let's let's get that done. It's probably because there's too many ostriches, isn't it? Right? How are we how are we fit? Oh no, the butterflies have all escaped. Oh. Right, okay. What what's in the exhibit then? Animal zero. What? Where have all the butterflies gone? They all died. What what? I don't understand. Where have the butterflies gone? Did I put the butterflies in? Yes, of course, at the beginning of the video. We, we looked at the butterflies. They were there. So, is, 
does that just mean they've escaped then? Is is that what that is? I'm really confused. Right, well, uh, yeah, what a bizarre one. It, it would appear that they've escaped. Hmm. Right. Oh, hang on. What, what's, what's that? Oh, there's one there. So there must there must be some animals in here. Eh, dear me. Right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. Yeah, it appears most of them have gone. I don't know where they've gone. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, please click the like button. And do subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you never miss out on any future uh, Planet Zoo episodes. Yeah, that's one that you need to let me know about in the description, in the comments even, not description. Uh, can your butterflies escape? Well, I was certainly flipping out. Hey, dear, right. <laughs> On that note, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.